Hi, it's Terry Gaines. I'm going to give you some assembly tips on creating these gift card holders using product from the Everything is Rosy product medley. It's a limited time only, available during the month of May and while supplies last. There's a wide variety of product in here, including some beautiful designer series paper and some rose gold foil paper. For these gift card holders, it even includes the ribbon. Pull on the ribbon and a card ex is exposed along with a gift card, or you could put money in there. Just slip it back in here between the ribbons there, and you have a fun gift card holder. So everything is rosy, makes it sound like it's only for girls. Well, you can make cards for guys too. So let me show you how that's how I did this. So I'll get all the prep work done for before we start the assembly. So we have six by six designer series paper and I used these two prints for the gift card. There's four additional prints in here. I have a video and a blog post showing some cards I made with one piece of the gold rose foil. So you can hop over to my blog to see that, createwithterrygains.com. So for the gift card holder, and I have the dimensions, measurements printed here. They're also available on my blog. Um, we need colored cardstock. That is two inches by eight and a half, scored at four and a quarter. If you're gonna be, make more than one, I would suggest that you score your cardstock first and then cut the two inch strips and um, that just saves you a little bit of time. So the punch we're gonna use for the end is the scalped topper punch. So you're gonna place it all the way in on, on both ends, so on this end and on this end. What's nice about this punch, it creates the slit that we need for the ribbon. The other piece of paper we need is designer series paper that is two and three quarters by five and three eighths, scored at an inch and a half at bo on both ends. So I like using the Simply Scoring for that. So use the larger end of the stylus. This is a designer series paper. You don't want to tear through it, and a lot of times the smaller end will tear through. So inch and a half on one end, rotate it, and an inch and a half on the other end. The Simply Scoring works great for that. The other piece of paper we need is the card. So this is um, the two and an eighth by six and three quarters scored at three and three eighths. What I did to get this color on, I actually used the shimmer paint that you get in the product medley. And I took the Stampin' Spritzer, put about three quarters of uh, filled with rubbing alcohol. And then what I do is you want to shake this up. So I've shaked, I've done that ahead of time. So what I usually do is put about five drops of paint in here. So I'm going to just do that right on the camera. Got an air bubble there. That's all right. So five drops of paint. And you can put less if you don't want as much in here. And then what you do is put the cover on and shake that up. And then you can spritz your paper. So I have made a couple different ones, different colors of these. I'm going to move this punch. So um, I have the pink or the rose gold. So what I did for this card is I actually just shook this up and spritzed. You can actually, from this bottle, you get about three sheets, eight and a half by 11 sheets of cardstock. For the blue, I actually took my reinker and added five drops of, oops, five drops of ink refill and now added that. Now I can get my blue spritz on there. So just a light coating. You don't want to saturate it. It will soak through. Let it dry and then you can stamp on top of that. So we've got that part done. For the embellishment, I have the gold, rose gold foil stamped with the, um, this is the tailor, tailored tag punch. And then I have the time to celebrate. I'm gonna share with you what I did for this piece. This is for embellishing the gift card. So we have a photopolymer stamp here. And this time to celebrate is the top portion of this sentiment. 
and you could color that in with markers. I'm not really good at getting markers colored in well with that. So what I did was I took my paper snips and I actually cut this off of the stamp. I did put a little, went down and over. That way I've got a notch there so I can always just place it right back in the spot I want it and use it as a full sentiment. So when you do stamp, always stamp first, then take your punch and turn it upside down. And then you can line up your sentiment right in the punch and punch that out. So we have all the pieces that we need. Well, there's one more piece we need. So we need a 14 inch piece of ribbon. So boy, I got quite a, quite a cluster of products sitting here. So let me show you the assembly of this. It's pretty easy. So what we're gonna do is take this designer series paper and fold on the score lines. And we've got this folded on the score line. Now I'm going to take my adhesive and apply adhesive on both ends of this paper. And then I'm gonna use this grid as a guide. So we're going to, I'm going to put this um, a half inch from the bottom. So each grid is a quarter inch, so two grids. And then I'm lining up equal here, equal here. And then I can take the fold of my two by eight and a half folded, and I can just bring this piece in and this piece in. And that's all we need to do for assembly. The 14 inches of ribbon go through Get those two to be equal on the bottom. You can put your card, push that all the way down. Then what I do is I turn this backwards and then take the two ribbons and wrap them around to make a slight knot or a little knot. The reason I turn it backwards, the back side looks nicer. So that brings that nicer on that side. I have regular dimensionals on the back of my gold foil. And we'll just place that right in the center here. And then mini dimensionals on the back of the time to celebrate. And we'll just place this right there. And that's how quickly we have our gift card holder. Hope you, um, if you found me via YouTube, look in the comments section for a direct link to my blog post where you'll find the supply list measurements and the instructions for this project. There'll be a PDF you can download and a direct link to my store to purchase the supplies. Thanks for stopping by. Hope you'll enjoy creating this project with me.